Hey guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Jen. I help people reinvent their reality. So I wanted to bring up an observation that I had last night and sort of a revelation, I guess you could say. So I, uh, I enjoy watching ice hockey. I play ice hockey, so I've always loved to watch it. And if you guys don't know, the NHL, National Hockey League, just came back with hockey, right? But a little different this year, it's without the fans, no crowd, nothing. Even the announcers are not in the rink with, with the skaters, right? Everybody's social distancing and, and they're playing in Canada or something. But anyway, it was interesting because we all know, okay, baseball's happening, all these other sports are happening right now, but there's no fans. We know that, we understand that because we have this thing called COVID going on right now. But <laughs> the observation that I made was that the, while I was watching, I was saying, you know, is there background crowd noises? Like they actually put in crowd noises, fake crowd noises on the TV. So when somebody scored too, you'd hear like, ah, you know, as to not make it sound silent. The other thing that the programmers, whoever did, where they covered up the empty seats. So we know there's nobody there, but they felt the need to cover up the empty seats. So viewers would not only hear nothing, silence, no crowd, but they wouldn't see empty seats because maybe that's bad for viewership. And I just thought it was funny slash interesting. And I was like, well, what if I wanted to watch knowing that there's no crowd? And I was very intrigued and interested in seeing what hockey is like or national hockey game is like without a crowd, right? With just like the guys where you can hear them. But no, somebody who I guess uh, directed, directs the programs, whatever, <clears throat> the sports network felt the need to put fake crowd sounds in, fake background noise, as to not disturb the viewer, almost like by having no fans and having the playoffs be like silence, it would be almost offensive to somebody. It wouldn't be as fun. So it got me thinking about not only change and how we don't like change, but also how we make these assumptions. It's like, well, we need to fit the mold of, we need to go back to or try to fit in as much as we can to how things were. Otherwise it's not gonna be as good or otherwise we're going to offend somebody or make somebody very uncomfortable. Somebody might not watch. You're making that assumption, right? I might not watch a game if there's no fake crowd sounds in the background or they're not covering the seats up. I mean, that's up to, that's up to opinion, right? To, to discretion, but it was a funny observation and you know it, it made me think about how we're always trying to go back to how things were it's like with covid now right it's like remote learning everybody's working from home and we're really trying to find ways to get the schools to open to have things go back to how they were instead of investing the time into how to better the remote learning we're scared of change. We've, it feels very uncomfortable to us. So it's hard for us to think that we're actually evolving. If you think of like a relationship, right? In a relationship, people are together for years and years, and then suddenly there's no connection anymore. Things kind of fall apart. But usually one of the parties really tries, tries really, really hard to keep things as they always were. Let's go back to how things were. Let's go back to how things were, right? You've either experienced this or if you've witnessed in your life. And it's like, why? Why can we not just evolve as people? Why do we always feel the need to go back to how things were? Were things really that great to begin with? It's our fear of the unknown, right? We think that if we don't go back to how things were, oh my God, what's next? What's next? It's our defensive mechanism. We say, oh shit. Sports without crowd? That can't be. That can't be. Obviously, the skaters can't still play hockey without a crowd in the background. We still can't have Stanley Cup playoffs without a crowd, without seats being full, right? It's all a mind. It's all this illusion of control. We try to control everything. We try to bring everything back 
to what's comfortable, to what we know. Because the unknown, oh, the unknown, it's like aliens, right? It's like, mm, let's not go there. Let's not go there. So it scares the crap out of us. So right now we're kind of in this, in this place or this transition. And it's like, okay, do we either try to force things back to how they were? Well, we don't necessarily know that things can be forced back, right? Oftentimes, I'll bring up the relationship again, right? You force, you force, you try so hard to go back to how things were. You pretend, you fake it, you put on a happy face, but you know deep down inside that things aren't the same as they were because we change as human beings. Things around us change, things evolve. We don't allow, we try to control everything, but it's an illusion of control by our mind. Our mind tries to force things. It's like trying to force a jello jiggler into pudding. It's not the same. You can't go back to being jello. So think about it. Are you allowing in your life or are you trying to force things? This could apply to anything. This could apply to your career right now. If you're feeling kind of like, what do, what do I do? Like things need to go back to how they were. Could be like school, right? What do I do? I'm a teacher and how, are, how was this ever going to work? Or a relationship, whatever it is. Even just watching sports. Allow yourself to be okay with no fans. Allow yourself to still enjoy what you enjoy, which is the game itself, right? You're not watching just because there's tons of people. Maybe you are, I don't know. But look at your, what your priority is, I guess, right? Think about it. Allow more, allow more. And give up this illusion of control because it's coming from your mind. It's us trying to protect ourselves, trying to defend ourselves, trying to always want things to keep things in our comfort zone. Just realize that, understand that. So now is as good a time as any to allow to go with the flow and, um, and we'll see how things pan out. So on that note, let me know if you enjoyed this in the comments, guys, if you haven't done so, please subscribe. I put out a video every single morning and have a great day. I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.